Yo, I want to make this super quick. If you're having trouble with the Ogamon raid, um, it, it's a lot. There's a lot of people. It's very hard <laughs> to do. So here's my little tips and tricks just to be able to, to, to complete it. They're giving out some really cool rewards, and I hate for people to miss out just because they can't really understand, like, or, like, physically able to do it. Um, so one, th the first thing you got to do is really just go through your settings and literally turn everything off, turn everything down. Make sure you go to simplify, and this is easy to find an interface all the way at the bottom. Even go to the as far as, like, turn off, off the Digimon effect, the blowing effect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is just gonna help turn all the things down. You can also take out people's names That can help too. basically what you want to do is limit the amount of processing and image and graphics that your CPU might be running because you're gonna get literally so low frame rate so you can see my frame rates at the top i'm running 60 61 the entire time and once people start jumping in it's going to drop all the way to like 20 10 and before i even did this i was already i was at one frame so i couldn't even hit them um so make sure you turn all your settings down turn everything down just to be able to fight also too another thing to note if you're not if you are not in the channel before the the fluctuation of people come you but it might as well just not go what i suggest you go to channel one channel one right before you, they start you know then once that finishes you jump into channel three don't go to channel two because if you're not already in there it's just going to be hard you might not even get in it might kick you out you might dc so you might as well just go to channel three um just to be safe um and i know a lot of people want to be super greedy with this and try to hit all four channels your best bet is to just hit two channels and call it a day it's, it's very stressful to get in and get out so like i said turn down all your settings and make sure you jump from channel one to channel three i'm just gonna leave this on so you can kind of see how i'm able to do it and pretty much see like what i'm even able to get um, like i said you got to turn your settings down that's the only way to pretty much do this um they were they did talk about changing this to a, a ticket type of dungeon like the examon raid but i don't think they're gonna do it because this event's only up for i guess five more days maybe six maybe five more days yeah so i don't think they're gonna just add something new just for five more days um i hope they i hope they do like compensate us for a lot of people who weren't able to get into it the first couple of days this is every two hours just keep in mind and this is also their first event so hopefully it gets better um as, as time moves on but other than that this was pretty decent I got, I got about like 16 boxes right now i'm probably gonna do a video opening it up and kind of showing the thing but like i said you know turning all your settings down and make sure you only hop from one channel then skip to the next one don't even go to the second one just go to the third one i I've been successful at this the entire time once I've done this, so you can kind of just see how I do it. Um, but you gotta be, you gotta be quick with it. You gotta be fast to understand. Like, yo, there's a lot of stuff happening in this one area, and if you cannot, if you're not in there early, you better, you best not even try to go. So that's pretty much my tips and tricks for this. Hope it helps. I'm out.